we weren't trying to be like big film producers, big people. We were just trying to capture a unique, inspiring story that was that we knew was going to, you know, change the world. Filmmaker Janice Johnson. Hello everyone, this is Tashana Richards with Famous TV. And today we're here with Shanice Johnson. She's a filmmaker, and she's gonna tell us about her journey so far. So tell us a little bit about how you got started. So I originally um, got into film, actually, um, through Scottsdale Community College. Um, they have a brilliant film school, and I, like, I just went there, um, got my two-year degree um, with an emphasis in post-production. I don't have that story of, oh, I wanted to be a filmmaker since I was six years old. I kind of just fell into it by accident, to be honest. Um, I knew I wanted to do something in, within the media, I just didn't know what, so I felt like getting a film degree was actually the best place to start. And so attending that school, um, learning the, I guess, learning the basics in terms of post-production and just production in general has really helped me, you know, in just getting my own work off the ground. So, yeah, that's how I got started. What has been, would you say, your milestone or your greatest achievement so far? Creating a documentary that's been able to go to Cannes and that's been able to go to multiple film festival venues as well, I feel like has been a great milestone for me in terms of actually seeing my work gain some type of praise or gain some type of social value with others. Speaking of Cannes Film Festival, what was the film that got you there and how did that start? Um, the film is called Black Girls Code. It's a 15 minute um, short documentary that just highlights this unique nonprofit that is bridging the digital divide. So they're taking little girls starting at the age of six and introducing them into technology. And so these little girls are like building robots and coding websites. So far we went to IBM. We made the robot that we had to program, but we had to debug it helping create the new change makers of tomorrow, helping to cultivate the innovators of tomorrow. So far they've gone forth and taught over 1,200 girls, and this summer they're going to teach 2,000 girls. So this is something very needed, very important, because there aren't enough innovators that look like us. documentary films perceived compared to the other films? I feel that documentary films have the power to change the world and that's just, uh, specifically why I love doing them. But one thing I've noticed within the film industry in general is that documentary films are not given enough prestige. They're not given enough worth. And that's something that's really a problem and tells the fact that you know, we as a society kind of almost like to forget our problems. That's just how we all are. When we sit down and watch TV every night, it's to zone out and get into a story. And I do feel that there is a way to engage people in real stories and still make it interesting. It's just about taking the footage and shaping something that would tell the story in a unique way. Because this is called Black Girls Code. So showing like these faces of, of empowerment, showing like our future in terms of editing process, that's really just what I wanted to do. And so for that like three minute clip, you can see a lot of smiling faces, girls staring directly into the camera. Um, there, I, do, I use a lot of overlays, so collaging like cool matrix type numbers, um, collaging like, you know, astronaut footage and archival footage from space. What was the message of Black Girls Code? The message was basically about empowering young girls of color to go forth in technology. But not only that, the message is if you put your mind to anything, of course you can, you know, you can achieve it. And so, you know, me being a woman of color in the post-production field, I don't, I honestly don't see a lot of people that look like me in terms of being an editor and being a filmmaker. There are a lot of women of color who are filmmakers, but I feel not a lot, not a lot where we have that platform. What advice would you give people who want to be filmmakers or aspiring filmmakers? Um, one piece of advice I would give to anyone being a filmmaker is that you don't have to, you don't have to go to school, 
You don't have to, you know, have a big budget. You don't have to have this prestige. All you have to do is have an idea in your mind and go for it. There's, I feel like there's that new revolution right now where you have so many indie filmmakers who create these amazing stories, narrative or, you know, narrative films or documentary, experimental, whatever, and it's off of no budget. And I feel like that is something to say when you have all these big industry professionals who have these million dollar budgets and you have this little guy who's made this amazing film that's twice as better than the million dollar budget film for no money. So how can people get to see your stuff or find you? Um, you can find my work um, on my production company page, Malachi Creative, um, malachicreative.com, M-A-L-A-K-A-I, creative.com big thank you to Shanice for coming in I'm all dancing thank <laughs> you for having me and big thank you to her for inspiring future filmmakers and this is again Tashana Richards with Famous TV see you later when we grow up we might become people in technology and thank you to Mike <laughs> only on Famous TV. Please subscribe to Famous TV YouTube page. Thank you for watching.